the other hand, the Tigers are only hitting 204 in the first two games, but they've managed to beat Texas A&M twice. Well, A&M came in here with some gaudy ERA numbers. Gaudy in this day and age. He's right now, and, and partly cloudy skies. Swing and a miss. Este went after an elevated pitch, a three up, three down inning for the Tigers and Chafin along with a couple of strikeouts. So we go to the bottom of the first. We are Jeff comes in at 57. Newland lifts it into shallow center field. And Jasmine Hill is out there. It's two for six in the series. Nice drop ball there on the outside corner. Pleasance chops it right back to Kennedy. It's a one, two, three inning. So both starting pitchers get the pitching coach, calls all the pitches, and directs traffic at third. Cottrell lifts this one out to Briggs, whose parents are here from California. And Come in doing so well. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That's going to be a base hit. Yep, even for Pleasance. Woolley has too much speed. Five of them have been by Bergeron. The 3-1 pitch. That's high. And Chafin. That's high and away. That was not a competitive pitch. And Chafin has walked two after a one-out infield single by Woolley. And there's a call third strike. It got a little piece of the outside edge. The 0-1. Rammed fair down the line and right. One Aggie scores. A second Aggie scores. Here comes a third Aggie. The throw to the plate is late. And that is a bases clearing triple for Kennedy Powell at the bottom of the order. And it's been the gifts by Chapin yes. in this inning that have hurt her. Absolutely. And you see that ball is. Powell is like, I will definitely swing at that pitch. Too much white. So the Aggies for the first time, that's time. And now Burzon misses and the bases are loaded again. You're right. The one two pitch. Swing and a miss, Burzon gets that pitch to sink at the end. Gets a much needed strikeout. He chokes up a little bit off the end of the bat. Reaches for that and rolls it slowly toward the second baseman and Wiggins turns it into an out. Span of winter, the kind of effect at the palm trees. Lynch lines one with authority, but right at Hill in center field she did offensively the good news is the hits have come at the right time absolutely and they've been able to get an extra base hit or two Got when her. necessary i think this might be the second or third time she's gotten hit lsu was 10 for 49 at the plate in the first two games that's chopped to harper an easy play for the first baseman and lsu is done in the second point to point you're right McKee makes a nice play going to her left at third base. Pake. Gutierrez covers a lot of ground at first base and makes the play unassisted. Burzon inducing all the ground ball outs. Petty from the backhand side on the money to Gutierrez, a three up, three down inning, all on ground ball outs. And we go to the bottom of the third with Texas A&M leading LSU. Now both teams have se seen both starting pitchers quite a lot now. Powell makes the pickup and Bergeron is retired third to first. Here's the pitch. Ball four, I think. Or did he call a strike? Nobody. Wow. He called ball four. McKee. Runner is on the move. The peg is high. 
And the slide is under the tag as Maddox McKee, who is one of the fastest. Just had a little dancing or gymnastics in her younger life to hang on to the base like that. A weak pop up to the right side is gathered. Way uh, to the plate. That's trouble. That's a base hit. Don't there is no play anywhere. First and third. Briggs on the chop in front of the plate. Extends her. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Off speed. The runner Going is on the, the move. Out. This is close. And she's thrown out. She is thrown out to end the inning. And they're going to ask for a... Uh... Cottrell. Cottrell throwing from her knees. Right away, Coach Bryce Neal asked for a review. On the field is changed. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see what they feed Pleasance. Off oh, the yeah. plate. They definitely walked her there. That was an intentional, a semi-intentional, intentional pass. No doubt about that. The pitch. Rammed into center field just beyond the diving Wiggins. One Tiger scores, two Tigers score. Raylene Gutierrez delivers a single to center and we've got a one run ball game. The most improved Tiger on this team from last year. And oh, how big is that obstruction call against Texas A&M? Here's A chop to the left side. Powell makes the throw, and there's the third out. But Gutierrez with a clutch two out. Oh, a wicked off-speed pitch. And Wiggins was really reaching for it. Strikeout number two for Burzon in relief. Pleasance charges it. Throws that strike right to the letters of Gutierrez at first base, Trinity Cannon. Cranked a triple down the right field line. This time she chops it to the left side. Ooh. And McKee air mails it all the way into the dugout. Happens, it happens. Just don't get a good grip sometimes. 3-2, a chance for Newland. She drifts to her right and she's got it. Harper is retired. And so the two base throwing error doesn't do. I find it interesting as I gaze out at Jasmine Hill, sometimes in center field. After Kennedy throws a strike, she'll take her glove off and, and, and clap. Blue are just really clapping well, I, I for don't her know, but teammate. She only does it on strike. She might be mocking Blue. Oh, what a bunt. Nice play by Kennedy. Nice play by Kennedy. One and two, one out. The tying runner at second base. Ooh, fooled her completely with that curveball that just kind of dance when Coffee went down with a knee injury. It's a long run for Eshte, but she is able to grab it in foul ground. And so LSU leaves Petty at second base. Two ball game today. This on the bark in the park. Day. Jasmine Hill sends one to the hole. Pleasance cannot make the play on the outfield grass. Sure, but Eshte being a former Ragin' Cajun, she probably has played in this ballpark. Uh, she should have played last year in regionals. Gutierrez recovers and throws from her backside after stumbling and falling down. It's in the deep freeze again here, Lynn. Nice play by Burzon, although she didn't really look at her. She was just kind of gave her a sideways. They can flat hit. They put up some runs on the scoreboard. The 0-2 bounces in. The runner's going to take it the yeah, base. That's going to be a wild her. pitch. Left field again. Nobody sees it. Briggs coming on, calling for it, and makes the catch. And she may have actually been on the dirt. A clean base hit to right center field, and Newland may double. try for two. There she goes. She makes it easily. Newland realized leaving the batter's box. Beth Nichols and Thibodeau. She's been really good with runners in scoring position. 
Batting 441, and that pitch eludes Cottrell. I don't know if she was crossed up or what. With the with the butt, something to do this. 3-2 pitch, popped up. Briggs was off balance. She yep. was running up was on change that. change up and got her fooled. And it did fool her. She was unable to get a any kind of authoritative swing. A runner at third, a one-run game. Tried Pleasance to come inside. the base on balls. Tried to come inside. It was a battle for six innings. What a changeup. Gutierrez is frozen by an off-speed pitch. And I think now. Cool cucumber. And a liner over the... Oh. It's caught! It's caught! It's caught by Este! Este looked like she might not catch up to it. It was well hit. A rising line drive, and Este was equal to the task with the numbers. Uh, Perez is able to get aboard. Perez, a 160 hitter, is walked. We'll have a pinch runner here. Burzon had to fight off McKee for that ball near yeah. the circle. Your briefcase full of snacks? No, with no, you? That, that dollar menu was uh, quite popular. Oh, this that's is a trouble. Hit. Safe at third on the tag attempt. Pleasant. Right field line. Once again, the 3 2 pitch with runners at third and first. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout. That looks like an off speed pitch, and it had him or sustain it. Runner from first is away. She'll get the stolen base, and Bergeron wisely held the ball behind the plate. Burzon brings the 3 2. Chop toward Petty. The out at first. The Tigers hold off the Aggies. LSU had a chance to score in the tremendous defensive plays. A walk off home run. Petty sends it up the middle. And she's going to go to second base on that throw. And that's Petty's first Coca hit. game. She's the leading hitter in this series for the Tigers. And there, nope. That oh. drops in front of the center fielder. Petty had to be cautious before she left the bag. And the Tigers have runners at first and third. Bergeron rams a liner to left. We've got a brand new ball game. Macy Bergeron moves her hitting streak to four games with an RBI single, and here come the Tigers. And here comes Coach Ford. We may have a change here, but the LSU got very aggressive in this inning. Two first pitch strikes for base hits. An infield hit by Petty. The 1-0 from Levitt. That's high off the catcher's glove. That's the second time. I think, I, I, I really believe. The pitch from Levitt. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. wow. That is a very courageous take by McKee. Rudity, Gilio, and McKee on board. Saw and that change up. Ball hit very well to center field. That is up and over. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Allie Newland delivers a grand slam home run. It's her sixth round tripper of the year. And the Tigers, as they've done in every game, come from behind in the late innings. That was a four run swing. And what, my, what are my three letters for this young lady? She does it all. Led the Tigers in, uh, during the SEC last year with her batting average. She made a game-saving catch the other night. Whew. I'd have liked to have coached her. That's off the glove on a hop. And they may not be finished. Look at this hustle from Briggs. Wiggins could not feel that. That's going to be too hot to handle, I'm sure. Over UCLA. 
And it's looking like it could be another rematch with Iowa. That game was basically a one and two possession. That's a fair ball. Here comes another run for LSU. Gutierrez bangs it off the glove of the first baseman. And everybody is going to gather in the middle of the field for Texas A&M. A&M's defense is going to call their own timeout. They haven't been able to close out any game. Good play. Oh, she forgot. Oh, my gosh. Kennedy Powell stepped on the back, thinking it might be a force. Then she threw to home. But still some work to be done, and there's ball four. Another run scores. Pleasant strolls across. Good. Check she swing went. and I think a strike, yes. She absolutely went. So Rudity fails to put it in play. Now you could have a double play. The out at first, no chance to get Bergeron at the out at the plate, rather, and no chance to get Bergeron at first. That's lined right to Harper, and the inning is over. But the Tigers got an RBI single by nine to three lead over the Aggies in the seventh, also in search of a series sweep. And if LSU obtains it a bit, it will be the first time in the history Another hit. She had a couple of hits yesterday and drives this one through on the right side. Well, she came in today, the leading hitter for the. Swing and a miss. She chased one that was elevating. Tiger faithful standing for the third out. Pleasance whips it across, out on a close play. Throw back to third is not going to matter. And they're going to challenge, I believe. I let's see, let's see, let's see. She is. Mm. Is there enough to overturn it? I think the call is going to stand, yeah. but it very, very close. Very. Oh, oh, they've overturned whoa. it. Okay. They have overturned it. Obviously, he's in communication with Birmingham. Now we're going to get an addendum. Now they oh, say she's wait, out. Wait, wait, what is this? What is this? My goodness. I know there was probably obstruction. <laughs> but apparently he set out but gave the safe signal. And then Birmingham said, wait, that's not what we meant. And they have ruled it. They have upheld the original ruling, which I think is correct. And this game is over. So. A 9-3 win for LSU. The Tigers sweep Texas A&M for the very first time. Burzon, the winner, she's 13-1. Kennedy, the loser, 14-5. The big blow in the game, the grand slam home run by Allie Newland. And in each of the three games,